In 2020, media outlets weren't able to declare the winner for four days after the election. And this year, we expect it's gonna take even longer. Polls are showing that this is likely to be one of the closest elections in US history between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. There are seven states that are considered battlegrounds. Every single one of those states is essentially tied, according to the polls, with very small margins in one direction or the other. There are a lot of people who vote by mail. That's a trend that's accelerated since the pandemic. In Pennsylvania, uh, the most important swing state by, by consensus, uh, almost two million voters have requested mail ballots. And mail ballots take longer to count. In a couple of the, the swing states, uh, particularly Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, state law doesn't allow election officials to touch those votes until election day. So once election day comes, that's when they start checking the envelopes to make sure that they've been properly sealed, checking signatures to make sure that they match what's on file, making sure that the voter's name matches registration, and only after they've done all of those things, all of which takes time, can they then finally tabulate those ballots and add them to the count. Even in states like Arizona and Nevada, where workers are allowed to start processing and tabulating mail ballots before election day occurs, it still takes a really long time just because of the sheer volume. So in both those states, a majority of voters vote by mail. So because of a host of reasons, the historic closeness of the election, the number of uh, mail ballots that voters are using to cast their votes, and the different procedures that these various battleground states use to tabulate those votes after election day, all of those are gonna contribute to what's gonna be a long time before we can actually say who won this election.